Alistair's rescuer in the flesh. Vault Hunter, you magnificent bastard. You did it. Now I am truly in your debt. Ah, problem. Vault Hunter, my sister contacted you, didn't she? Um, yes. Aurelia yeah. offered to pay me to leave Eden 6. That damn harpy! Anything Aurelia offers in one hand is only to distract from the knife in the other. If you set foot in that manner, she will try to kill you. Which is that's why my we're going to kill her. Winnie! Vault Hunter, you did right by us, prying Alistair from the fangs of those zealots. Now, Jacobs is true to his word. I'll get you that vault key. But that yeah, means right. both you and I are going into that harpy's den together. The key's been in my family for generations, but the exact location, well, that's one secret my father took to his grave. Oh, great. You accept Aurelia's invitation and keep her distracted while I search the manor for the key. All right. What's that really done? All right, so. Walking into another death trap. Is it Tuesday already? You must meet with my sister. I shall speak plainly. Aurelia is one of the wealthiest creatures in the galaxy, but do not be fooled by the fine furs and priceless jewels she wears. She has the heart of a bandit. She takes what she wants. She believes in nothing but herself. If she had the charisma of Tyrene or the cunning of Troy, she would have started her own cult long ago. She has found her true family in the Calypsos. I'm not too worried about her. She had a pretty cool, like, skill set in the pre-sequel, though. Like, they really pulled out all the stops for her character. Go! just straight up redefine the meaning of words just by adding two letters that aren't actually there. Or just by removing a letter and just replacing it with another. It's just, it, it boggles my mind sometimes, because it's just like, how the fuck are you going to do that? You know what I mean? It's just like, how are you just going to change the way words work? I think it was, um, what, Humpty Dumpty and Alice in Wonderland that had that bullshit. Fight. It's like the words mean what I think, and that's it. It's just like, fuck you, that's not how it works. Holy crap, that's a nice house. In the middle of a fucking swamp. You know, I feel like anytime you say the words, that's a nice house, but you have to follow it up with, but it's in a swamp, it immediately makes the house not nice. Like, I don't care who you are, you can't have a nice house in a fucking swamp. I think Resident Evil Biohazard has pretty much just made that completely prevalent. So the whole rent is for the cash. I know you Rude. Can. A vault hunter's loyalty is always for sale. Come to the manor and you'll get your money. Nice. No, let's get a oh, and feel free to mow down the Calypso's <clears throat> followers along the way. Followers, servants, all nearly as dispensable as vault hunters. My! Okay. There we go. Rip them to shreds. Oh, jeez. Ow. Unseen. Jeez. I have no blood. Rifes, there's a lot going on right now. Oh shit, Goliaths! Oh shit, Goliaths! Man, 
This thing's a piece of shit. This thing's a legendary? Took me almost an entire magazine to kill that one person. That's lame. Something a little different. This is a glorious day. Now over. Hey, Typhoon, what's I up? I had some good times in this little hamlet. Drinking with Monty and his wife, Margaret. <clears throat> Anywho, we have a few drinks, and then I say, Monty, why'd you make me slip all the way out of here? He leans in and says, well, I saw what happened to Promethea when you found that vault. And I figure, if there's a vault, I want to know about it. gonna kind of suck killing her. I really did like her in the pre-sequel. She was really fun to play as and play with. Anyways, I was saying, I'm not gonna spend my time just trying to find Titan Logs anymore because, like I said, I'm trying to get this playthrough done as soon as possible. And I feel like I'm just spending way too much time on just all the side crap. Am I going the right way? I am not. That'll do. I'm nearly inside the manor by way of a rather tight underground passage. Oh. Jacob's estate has more entrances than a harlot at a bordello from Squids, if you don't mind a tight squeeze. Um, Speaking of suckers, while you distract Aurelia, okay. I'll the cabaret in the theater wing. My father had a study hidden underneath the stage. If there's a key to the vault key, it'll be in there. Probably re equip my dog with stuff. Um, there. Go on, boy. Be off for now. Ready for a oh, there's a chest up there. Damn it. I'm in. It rustles my jackboots to see that hobby and chill in my ancestral halls. My family's We're going back. Were thrown out into the gully with no more pomp than a spent sheep gut. What I wouldn't give to introduce her to the business end of my shotgun. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Yep. Still trying to cross that damn border. Fucking almost nine years later to the date. Holy shit, yeah. Skyrim did come out in December, didn't it? Yeah, 11, 11, 11. It was, it was almost December, anyways. Oh, man. It's crazy to think that's been, like, almost nine years that game came out. Oh, there's a fucking boss bridge. I'm... Okay. Okay. Oh, another Titan log. Might as well. Something that's just right here. As I'm heading to the estate one day, I hear somebody shooting and cursing. So I go around the corner... Find this boy Wainwright, pistol in hand, trying to shoot cans off of guns. I ain't no gunslinger, but the kid, he was a terrible shot. Squinting and licking his lips and cursing and saying he'd never be a Jacobs. Then I figure out why. Kid's blind in one eye. So I come up to him and say, hey kid, try a shotgun. Well, that's how you do it. If it don't work, use a gun. If it don't, that don't work, use more gun words to live by especially in a game like borderlands all right let's see here right on time vault hunter please do come in that woman can make even proper hospitality sound sinister but go along with whatever she says while i search the cabaret i'll be with you in just a moment Wait for me in the dining hall, and we'll discuss your payment. Oh. Bitch. All right, go to the dining hall, I guess. <laughs> that was cool, actually. All right. I wonder where that third Titan log is. See, this is the problem. I found I found the first two, and now I want to find that last one. Ooh, hello. So, 
Clayton. You wish to speak to me? Clay's fine. Old Monty just got a generous offer on the Jacobs Corporation. He turned it down, of course, but I thought you'd want to know it came from one Aurelia Hammerlock. I assure you she cares little for Jacobs itself. This is about me. Figured out that much myself. But your sister doesn't strike me as a type Who to let things lie. Guy? You know her, Alistair. Is this the end or the beginning? The lizard. Afraid you lost me there. Once, when we were children, my sister and I found an extremely rare lizard in the woods near our home. A magnificent specimen. Oh. Aurelia wanted to keep it as a pet, but my sister has never been one for cultivating life, shall we say. I nurtured it in secret, despite her insisting the lizard was hers. I labored to build it a proper habitat. Natural flora, the right balance of water and sunlight, ample food, of course. But one day I returned to find the lizard dead. The water level was too high. There were scratch marks on the glass where it had clawed madly for air. And you blamed yourself. I did, at the time. Only later did I realize what my sister had done. She had left a block of ice in the habitat to slowly melt, forcing the lizard to scramble ever higher until it was too late. Had she simply wanted to kill it, she could have done so. But that's not her way. Aurelia wanted me to believe that I was to blame. Well, luckily, we ain't lizards. An astute observation. But now, as I Jesus look around, Christ. I wonder how long the waters have been rising. That's a... That's a real fucked up thing to do. Hello. Got a nose for treasure, I see. Eh, nothing good in here. That's a really fucked up thing to do. That's like some proper sociopath type shit right there. Ooh, title card. Oh, fuck. Holy you should see the look on your stupid face. God damn it. Come on, thief. As promised. Not bad, Baroness. But you still owe us a vault key. I am working on it as we speak. Well, I will leave you to your fun. Good doing business with you, Vault Hunter. Oh, son of a bitch. This is awesome. We haven't really had a chance to get to know each other, huh? Keel over and die, ass hat. She does that, right? She's the center of the galaxy, and the rest of us just sort of orbit around her. But things are changing. Freaking look at me! I, I've never felt this good in my life! Woo! What is this? What is this? Your siren friend? She didn't know what she had. With this power, I can pull the stars out of the goddamn sky. I'll shove you know, them inside Tyreen says one. we should let you keep playing along. Yeah, a little competition gets our followers all riled up. <laughs> but I'm not one of them. No, not anymore. I'm done getting table scraps. Fill your hands, you zealot scum! Huh? Got ya! Oh, I'ma kill you! Come and get me, you rat-faced bastard! Okay. You search the cabaret. I'll keep this punk ass rat boy running around like a jabber with his on fire. I do not know how you actually know what that looks like. Let the life bleed from you. Oh god. Fucking ghosts. Oh, that's a sapper. Can this fucking event with the ghost just end already? I am starting to get real tired of this shit. Hmm. Why not? Alright, it'll do. I do like burst fire guns. So long as they're done right. I mean, the burst fire has to be just the right amount of bullets and it has to do a decent amount of damage. Like, I've seen so many games do burst fire wrong and... Yeah. <laughs> Get back 
Richard Jacobs? Say, rat boy, aren't you the one who has to suck at your sister's teeth for sustenance? Ooh. Die in a gutter. You first. All right, I really like this Wainwright guy. That's the spirit. There we go. The knife that only grows sharper. I love these dolls. Don't bite out, out, breathe candle. Well struck. I love how they. Just, I love how Flack just Molly throws it away. I mean, I, I, it's probably a universal. Oh, hello. Get him. There we go. Another Nope, focus on this one. Focus on anyone but the Goli god Lyas. Oh man, doing good god lies with the pet's gonna be so difficult. Uh. Oh! Okay. Oh, it's a trick. Never mind. Uh, I miss this gunplay. Like every now and then I'll be playing just another game or something else. You know, I'll come back to this game and just be like, wow. The gun the gunplay in this game just feels so good. Wait for it! There we go. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Get back here, old man. Try and catch me. Tell me about it, buddy. Ah, crap, there would have been more guys in here. Pathetic end breaker. Accelerating! There we go. Ooh, another trinket. Alright. somewhere oh god that's actually tragic someone pushed that guy out of his wheelchair who does that ah a g364 op3 door opening module you know what they say when the almighty robot policeman closes the door just open that thing back up i feel like that's one of the most <laughs> fucked up things to do though is just like Push someone out of the wheelchair down. Out of the cavalry theaters up ahead. Push through. All right. I'm on. Okay. Well, with all these husks here, Tyreen must have been hanging about. Hey. Well, uh, we'll run with this for a little bit longer, just for one more boss fight. Hey, Vault Thief! Wanna see something your dead siren friend couldn't do? What? Yes! Feel my power run through you! The an Oh. Okay. Oh! It's time to fight! Pilly the Anointed. 
Oh, you are actually really tough. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, they can teleport. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, man, he is tough. Oh, thank God. Okay, come on. There we go. Whatever. Kill as many anointed as you want. I'll keep making them. My army is endless. But you know what? I've got more important crap to do. Right. Now that the rat boy's out of eye. What? No loot? The trap door to my father's study has a trick latch. I'll need to figure out the solution. Oh, wait. Hang on. The there we go. Hey! All right. Oh. oh. Gatling. Okay. Sweet. I was like, why the hell did he drop no loot? And I'm like, oh, he's made of the crystals. That's actually pretty clever. I wonder how many people just walked right by him. Let's see here. Oh! Oh, that is radical beyond Oh, it's a crank gun. I love crank guns so much. What do you got? Right there. Monty and his wife invite me to a show at their house called Fool's Gold. That's about a king who finds an ancient artifact of power and tries to take over the world. In the end, the kingdom ends up in flames and the king loses his head. Well... I got the impression that it weren't no coincidence Monty wanted me to see that play. And I thought to myself, you better be careful, Typhon. Monty's all right, but a tiger with a smile still a tiger. Yep. Because if you live in Wisconsin, Tyson's apparently it's not legal to own a fucking tiger. Six to find a vault. How captivating. Oh, yes, you're loose. Where is it? Under the mansion? All right. Enjoy. Oh, um, okay. The unlocking mechanism is hidden in the presets for the stage. Look around for some clues as to which props need to be out. You've done it. That there it door is. on the stage leads right to my father's study. Hurry, you've got to search it. I wish this crank gun had a way bigger magazine, though. What oh, I need to get a gunner. Down here? I'm not entirely sure. My father said he kept all his records down there. Look for something. Of course. He meant record literally. Huh. That record's as old as Jacob's Corporation, and I got the only Ligno phonograph player in the entire system. If he wanted to leave me a message, that must be it. Bring it on back to the lodge, Vault Hunter. Yeah, the only one. I will see you momentarily. Oh my god, no way. It's... It's so fucking stupid. You've got a nose for treasure, I see. Okay, now that's actually real class. That is actually super cool. Leaving so soon? Yes. Well, let me at least explain myself. No. You mean nothing to me, so I sold you to the Calypso twins. But so you know, I will get the vault key because I'm rich, and rich people get what they want. Till Robin Hood comes along and fucking takes it from you. And guess who's playing Robin Hood? Come on, let's see it. Ooh. All right. I wonder if legendary weapons have like random rolls, like, you know, like they have random magazine sizes or they, well, I guess it's a stupid thing to ask. They usually have, but I wonder if it's like more random this time because it's a revolver, but only, ha but only has five shots. And yeah, I know they make like five shot cylinders, but it's usually six. It's kind of weird. 
Let's go all the way over here. So you spoke with my sister and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, she's a total Never bitch. Never mind the harpy. That record. May I see it, Vault Hunter? You got it. Still can't believe the Calypso's murdered my father. I need to get my record player working, but you know Aurelia's gonna send all those damn zealots to find us. If we're gonna last long enough to open that vault, we'll need an army of our own. I'm talking a Jacob's resistance. All right, I like it's that. It's time to take back Eden Six, and we'll start with the town of Reliance. I hired a gunslinger named Clay to lend a hand. He's waiting for you outside the town. Eden Six is such a mess right now. Yeah, it is. Who wants to go drinking? <laughs> Me too, honey. Me too. Ooh. That'll do. That'll do very, very nicely. 